Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video to let you know that something has just been released from Radio Master. This is the Nexus. Now, what is the Nexus? Well, it's a little flight controller, but it's specifically designed to be put in helicopters and run something called Rotor Flight. Now, this isn't the first of these custom-made flight controllers to be around. I think Matek have had one for a long time. But I have been aware that this has been development with the Rotoflight developers for many, many months. I've had beta units here to play with and test. So this has been one of those cool products that Radio Master do, where they're actually working with the project that they are trying to support. They're very good at doing that with things like the Express LRS system, and it means there's a much tighter integration between the hardware and the firmware and the project. So this is exciting to see that this has come out. So what does the flight controller do? Well, if you're a helicopter pilot of old, this is basically a file fly barless controller. The code on here is based on beta flight, heavily modified and rewritten. The lead developer over there is a lovely guy called Petri. Petri has been great in sharing his time and just explained to me what they've done. So they've taken the beta flight code, they've rewritten whole tranches of it because beta flight doesn't really understand helicopters and then released it and now it's just been released as version 2. Version 2 has some significant improvements and this is a flight controller but also an express LRS receiver that's designed to be plug and play as they can make it. So in terms of the headlines for this thing, well, this isn't the first flight controller designed specifically for helicopters, but this is the one, the first that's been designed in collaboration with the team at Rotorflight. Now this inside has an STM32 F722 processor and a TDK six axis MEMS gyro and accelerometer, 128 meg of onboard flash for your black box, and it has a locking connector system, very handy in things like helicopters where things will work loose with vibration. And they're using RP3H style connectors. DSM and S bus ports available for those of you if you're not using Express LRS. There are UART ports on here for future expansion if future things are added, functionalities added into Rotorflight. CNC aluminium case, which means that it is going to be able to dissipate heat and also be protected from knocks. Measures 41 by 25 by only 30 millimeters high, and it will fit most helicopters. Something like an M4, this is easily going to be able to fit in the tail. However, because of the small compact size, you're probably going to be able to fit it in 250 class as well. Also supports multiple tail motors, thanks to Rotorflight, with either 760 microsecond or 5020 microsecond setups, as well as lots of receivers. It will obviously support CRSF, so that means your Express LRS, Ghost, and your Crossfire and those things, but also some D, IBUS, XBUS, EXBUS, PPM, MSP, DSM2, and DSMX. It does have that, as well as F-Port. In terms of the receiver specification, this is the RP3H Express LRS 2.4 gig nano receiver. It doesn't have to be just for a helicopter, but it actually goes beautifully with this new Nexus. Only 100 milliwatts telemetry, sadly. Dual antennas will work up to F1000 hertz. Working voltage is 5 volts and the weight is about 5.1 grams. Firmware target, because these guys work closely with the Express LRS system, is or should, should already be there. It's the Radio Master RP3-H Diversity 2400RX and it obviously has a CRSF interface. For those of you that have watched the channel for a while, you'll know that I'm kind of interested in putting in some kind of flight controller in a helicopter. I had the OMP Hobby M4 and I've kept it around specifically for that use. I had the Holy Bro 6C a while ago, was interested in putting Arducopter onto that Pixhawk style flight controller and sticking in the helicopter and doing a few how-tos. However, working with the developers, and there aren't many developers who really understand the Ardu copter on a helicopter stuff, and although the documentation is getting a lot better, I don't think it's still there enough for me to make a simple series aimed at newer builders. So hopefully now we have this based on Rotorflight, which is a close cousin of Betaflight, it's going to feel a lot easier. So far, I haven't been able to get enough time with the developers to actually get the information, tips and tricks in order to make a how-to series of using something like this. 
I'm sure now this is out and being shipped to reviewers, videos will start to be made. And if I get to a point where I feel comfortable that I can make a series where you can get to the end without the helicopter when it's armed trying to kill you, then I will make some videos. But I just wanted to share that this was out today. This again is really nice, innovative stuff from Radio Master. And I do like the way that they create this stuff in collaboration with the projects because it means everything works so much nicer. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.